This is Math 432 Applied Combinatorics. I'm Professor Asaf, and we're still talking about Ramsey numbers. Remember that a Ramsey number is the smallest positive integer such that any simple graph with this many vertices either contains the complete graph Ks or its complement contains Kt. Another way that we can think about this is that any red blue edge coloring of the complete graph K of RST either has a blue KS or a red KT. So that's the easier way to draw it. So we can think of the graph is the blue edges and its complement is the red edges. So together they form the complete graph. Okay. So um, we proved this really nice bound last time that the Ramsey numbers we can compute kind of recursively, except we're not actually computing them, right? This says less than or equal to. But nevertheless, we've done some examples. We've done some concrete examples. We did R33. We did that very explicitly. And then we had a nice argument for these guys. What's the smallest case that we haven't done? So the smallest case that we haven't yet done that we could maybe explore is the case of R43. What is R43? So we can use the bound. This is at most R42 plus R33. The great thing about doing the next case you haven't done is that when you use this bound, you know what these numbers are. So R42, that's going to be an example of this. So it's going to be 4 plus R33. We computed up here. So that's um, plus 3. Oh, sorry, 6. <laughs> And that's going to equal 10. So we know that R43 is at most 10. But in fact, this is a great example of this bound not being what we call tight. It's not exact. It's not an equality. It turns out that R of 4, 3 is actually equal to 9. So how are we going to prove that? Our proof is going to go much the same way that we did this case of R33 equals 6. And generally, these Ramsey theorem proofs go in very similar strategies. There are two things to prove. So the first thing we're going to have to prove is that 9 is enough. So what we need to do is we need to show that any red-blue edge coloring of K9 has either... Ks or, well, um, K3. Here, S is 4. So we need to prove that. So for any way that we color K9, we either get a K4 that's all blue or a K3 that's all red. The other thing that we're going to have to prove is that this is the smallest positive integer that works. So this first statement shows that the Ramsey number is at most 9. The second statement is going to show it's bigger than 8. So it's at least 9. So for this, we need, to we need to show just some edge coloring. So here we have to show that anything works. For the second part, we only have to prove there's one example that doesn't. So some red-blue edge coloring... of K8 has no blue K4 or red K3. That's what we need to do. Okay, so I'm going to do two first. These are the two things we have to do. So let's do step two. We're going to show two, which again proves that R of 4, 3 is at least 9. Okay. What's the proof? Well, here. If you stack these guys up together, you're going to get the complete graph K8. So what is my rule for edges? Well, I'm going to get a blue edge. So if I minus J in absolute value is equal to 1 or 4, then we're going to connect I to J with a blue edge. Okay? And this red is going to be the otherwise. Um, and I think I've totally gotten my red and my blue backward. So you'll have to forgive me there. So this one is going to be that I minus J, the absolute value is going to be anything else. So it could be 2, 3, 5, 6, or 7. 
then we're going to get from I to J, an edge like this. So how do I know that I don't have, so here what I've actually, what I'm actually doing, and I apologize, I've done this example in advance, so let me put the colors the way they actually are going to go for my proof. Luckily, the Ramsey numbers are symmetric, so I'm actually proving that R34 equals 9. So I need to show that there is no K3, and I need to show that there is no K4, okay? So why is there no K3? Well, for this one, maybe we'll move our red guy over. That's really about the K4 statement. So why is there no K3? Well, we can kind of see this pretty easily, right? So when we're trying to say, is there a triangle? So if we take two things that are connected, so this guy is connected with eight, and now what else is it connected with? Well, two, but obviously these guys aren't gonna be connected. So we're not gonna have a triangle that looks like that. So if we have sort of, if one is in a triangle, it's connected to two and eight, but two and eight aren't connected to each other. So that's great, that's one case that we've ruled out. That's sort of going around the boundary. Well, if we're connected to one, it's connected to eight, and it's also connected down here to five. But of course the eight can't be connected to the five either. So this one is pretty easy to see. What about over here for the K4? I think this is a little more exciting. This is a little more interesting to see why we don't get um, a K4 here. So let's, let's suppose that I is the smallest label in some K4. Okay, and I'm not gonna worry about the mod eight part, my taking my integers mod eight. Let's just do it this way. So we need three of the guys to whom it connects. So who is I connected to? I is connected to, if it's the smallest, it's connected to I plus two. It's connected to I plus three. It's not connected to I plus one, right? Because that would be the I plus one here. So it's not connected here, okay? It is connected to the three, to the four. It's not connected to the five. That would be an edge over here in the blue graph. So it's not connected to I plus four, but it is connected to I plus five and it is connected to I plus six. It's mm. not connected to I plus seven, okay? Um, sorry, that was a typo because seven is minus one. Um, so it's gonna be three of these guys, okay? But notice that these two, these guys have no edge in the red graph, right? Because they're adjacent. The red graph does not connect consecutive numbers. And also here, these guys have no edge between them. So no matter how I pick three of these guys to be connected to I, right? I is gonna be the complete graph. These are all of its neighbors. So three of these have to help it make a K4. But no matter how I pick three of these by the pigeonhole principle, I'm either gonna get two of these who don't have an edge or two of these who don't have an edge. So by the pigeonhole principle, we're missing an edge for K4. So that shows that I definitely don't get K4 in the red part for this very specific coloring of K8, of the complete graph on eight. That proves that the Ramsey number three, four, and so also the Ramsey number four, three is at least nine. In the next video, we'll show it's exactly equal to nine by mimicking the proof that we did here, which is the same as the proof of this theorem. So if you want, before we tackle that in the videos, you can give it a try yourself and then we'll go through the details.